Hey, we're here at the Junior High Auditorium right here in Seminole, Texas. This old place is, has some sentimental value to me. Uh, it's because where I got radically changed back in 1990. I'm thinking about Mark chapter 3, a guy with a shriveled hand that got his life uh, radically changed in the presence of Jesus, the Pharisees, the people around them. And uh, Jesus asks the question because some people were observing him to see if he would be doing uh, some kind of miracle on the Sabbath, and, and he did. And the guy got healed with a shriveled hand. And uh, Jesus uh, actually looks intensely at these religious leaders and um, he asks them, is it lawful to do good or evil? Because they were planning to kill him. So the question was, is it lawful to do evil? But then uh, he says, or is it lawful to do good? Well, actually it wasn't because they could only help like their animals out of a bad situation or something along that line. So it's kind of a weird law that they had. and. Uh, but uh, Jesus looks at these guys that hated him and he looks at them intensely, it says, the Word of God, and, and, and that he was angry at them, but yet he had compassion. One translation says he was, he was grieved because of their attitude. And I think it just tells us that even, you know, when we as people, we mess up, we may be going against what God wants us to do. He grieves for us because he wants the best for us. Even these people that interpret the law of Moses, he wanted the best for them. Even though they wanted to kill him, he still wanted the best for them. Uh, think about that for just a moment. Uh, do we want the best? Uh, on our enemies or maybe those that look at doing harm to us? Well, I can tell you, Jesus' attitude is that he always wants to do the best. So I just want to encourage you, would you do the best that you know how, according to scripture, to treat your brother and your sister or maybe your neighbor, your loved one, here in the city of Seminole or wherever you may call home? God bless you all. See you all next time. Thank you for joining us today. You can find the full message at praycenter.net. Be sure to tune in next week for more words of encouragement with Pastor John Penner.